Pair programming, a model for cooperative learning. The capsule for this note, a basic overview of pair programming, a cooperative learning strategy, is presented. This strategy has been successfully employed in various educational environments and provides a good model for instructors who would like to incorporate cooperative learning into their classes but who may have reservations about teamwork or be unfamiliar with the concept. In summary, pair programming, in pair programming, two programmers work side by side with one keyboard, one controlling the keyboard and therefore code instantiation, called the driver, the other serving as a quality control person while planning ahead, the observer. These roles are switched at the pair's discretion. However, the programmers are expected to spend roughly equal amounts of time in both roles. Both programmers are expected to contribute at all points in the coding process from the development of code to testing and debugging. Benefits of pair programming include a reported decrease in anxiety and frustration, higher quality of finished assignments, and decreased instructor workload, due in part to the ability of the pairs to work out issues that they may have normally taken to the instructor when working alone, and fewer number of assignments to grade. This practice is labeled collaborative in the literature. It can be classified as a cooperative learning strategy since it meets all the essential requirements. A structured process in which team members work toward accomplishing a common goal, stressing positive interdependence and individual and group accountability. I'll refer, for example, to the article by Smith et al. for additional information on cooperative learning. Its basic structure transcends disciplines. A non-computer version has long been used successfully in science labs, say Williams and Lehman, 2007. The implications for engineering education. Cooperative learning strategies such as pair programming are often underemployed in undergraduate engineering education. Instructors may not be aware of the benefits of using such strategies, may not want to take on the additional workload of organizing in teams, or may have concerns about potential issues such as honor code violation, negative reinforcement, and or the acquisition of knowledge and practices, and student disengagement. We suggest using pair programming based on a model when beginning to incorporate cooperative learning strategies in the classroom. Since the manifestation of such concerns may be perhaps more readily recognizable and therefore easier to manage in a dyad than in a larger team. Also, all involved gain experiences that is transferable to larger team activities. It is important to stress the concepts of interdependence and accountability, which transform basic collaborations into cooperative ones. The references here are Carl A. Smith, Sherry Shepard, David Johnson, and Roger Johnson, Pedagogies of Engagement, Classroom-Based Practices, in the Journal of Engineering Education, 2005. Uh, and Lori Williams, Integrating Pair Programming into Software Development Process, in the proceedings of the 14th Conference of the Software Engineering Education and Training Meeting, and Lori Williams and Lucas Lehman, lab partners. If they aren't good enough for the natural, if they're good enough for the natural sciences, why aren't they good enough for us? In the proceedings of the 20th Conference on Software Engineering Education and Training. This note was prepared by Susan K. Donahue.